Hi, I'm John from Model Makers Inc. And this is a vacuum forming that we created in our Rockaway, New Jersey facility. Uh, vacuum forming is a process that's used for all sorts of things. It's a way to take thermal plastic and uh, put a complex uh, shape to it. And the plastic is warmed up. It starts out rigid. Uh, it's warmed up, which makes it soft and stretchy. And then you can make it into a variety of different shapes. When it cools, it gets rigid again and holds the shape. Uh, PVC, polyethylene, uh, polystyrene, ABS are all good, uh, good thermal formable materials. Uh, acrylic and polycarbonate, while they can be bent in a straight line, don't really lend themselves to, to this process. But we're going to show some uh, actual uh, forming in a little bit. We're going to make some uh, formings that can be used for these parts that you see right here. It's a, it's a process that's uh, more efficient depending on what you're making and how many you need. It's a very cost effective alternative to 3D printing as well. Uh, retail packaging is made uh, on a vacuum form blister packs like this. As you can see, it's open on one side, hollow in the back, just, just like this. And that's something you see in any vacuum forming. It's formed from one side, it's hollow inside. This is our vacuum form machine. It's a vintage machine. It's probably as old as I am. It's fairly simple. It just involves three basic elements. A heater to take a rigid piece of plastic and, and heat it up. Um, a vacuum to pull air through. If you can zoom in on these little holes here in the pattern. The object is to take that stretchy piece of material and seal it around this so that all the air is trapped. And then you pull all the air out and it pulls the soft plastic against the form. And we're going to demonstrate that in a minute. You can actually, you can actually make a vacuum form machine. It's pretty simple. Vacuum, heat source, and of course the form that you want to create. And again, if you, uh, if you look closely, you see there's little holes that, um, that the air is pulled through and evacuated once you have it trapped in this area. You'll, you'll see once the, uh, the soft plastic goes around it a little more clearly how this works. I'm just going to blow the, blow the dust off this, pull the oven forward, and start the cycle. This is a semi-automatic machine. Uh, ordinarily, the frame would go down, the oven would go back, and the vacuum would kick all of this simultaneously and pretty quickly. For our purposes, I'm going to push the, the oven back uh, first so that you can see the frame come down with the soft plastic. Right. So this has been under the heater for about a minute, and you can see it's starting to get a little bit soft. It's getting droopy. This is what we started with. And in about another minute, it's going to be, well, let's say 30 seconds. It's going to be soft enough to, to go over that form and, and uh, it conform to that. Uh, it's called a tool. So here we go. I'm going to push the oven back so that you can see it better. I'm going to lower the frame slowly. Normally, that would all happen a little more quickly and simultaneously. The oven would go back, the frame would go down, the vacuum would kick, and you would get a little bit tighter shot. 